So Wooden came out with a new keyboard a while ago. We didn't take a look at it until now, but uh, I will say it is exactly what I expected. It's still the best. So let's go ahead and talk about this real quick because this keyboard is quite nice. This is the Wooting 80HE. Now, obviously this keyboard has been out for, I would say, what has it been? Eight, nine, ten months or so. I think it came out late last year and it's priced at $199 to $289, which I think is pretty fair for what you're getting here. Um, basically by getting the fastest, most reliable Hall Effect gaming keyboard from the guys that started all of this. Um, I think that this is their latest masterpiece. It comes standard with screw and stabilizers, polycarbonate plate, it's gasket mounted, it sounds amazing. And uh, these ABS keycaps, they're pretty decent. I'll give you guys a sound test in a bit. It's just raining pretty hard, but let's go ahead and give you guys a quick tour of the Wooting 80 HE if you haven't seen it already. But basically, like I said, this is the cheaper plastic version. This one is 199 if you want the fully built version, which I really can't complain. Uh, you get decent keycaps that also offer shine through as well. But if you wanna upgrade, you can upgrade to uh, PBT double shot PBT keycaps as well, or you can always use your own keycaps. And we're going to take a look at Wooding's website in a little bit, but more or less the screw and stabilizer job and the lubing was done very well. I really can't complain at all. And I have not touched these at all. So when we do the sound test, it's going to be hundred percent stock. Uh, Wooding did add this new little light bar. If I can plug in my keyboard, this light bar over here that you can configure, but I just have, uh, my keyboard configured to my colors of my liking and then uh, flipping it around i don't have any of the height adjustments on at the moment personally just because i like to use it flat and i'm so used to using the wooding 60 he uh, but since i have been using the wooding 60 that is only limited to a thousand hertz pulling rate bumping up to the 80 being limited to or i should say upgraded to 8000 hertz pulling rate um, I really can't tell the difference. Like they're both so fast and so reliable that I really can't complain. But inside the box, they give you a few spare Lecker V2 switches. And these switches are quite nice. Uh, we'll look at the site and see which ones the, these are in a little bit. But uh, I really do like these switches. The weight is quite good, but they are available in two weights as well. Six degree typing angle. And then we have a 10 degree typing angle extra screws keycap puller and the cable i'm already using the cable is pretty nice too six degree i do like this i actually might I actually might switch to six as opposed to flat to here i'll give you guys a versus as well 10 is pretty comfortable too if you are used to using like a really high setting see i still like the 2.8 degree what i think is going to actually work better with the six degree is probably reaching for your F keys. I think it's gonna feel a little bit more natural where I think that that's the only thing that I struggle with while using the most flat configuration. But otherwise, this keyboard is quite nice. I would, I'm gonna go back to actually to the six degree typing angles. Here's a glimpse of the cable as well. Pretty nice and they also give you a USB-C to a adapter in the box. It's just plugged into the back of my PC right now with a million cables. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna redo that. But overall, my gaming performance with the Wooting 80 HE, I have not had any issues. This thing has been rock solid. Most importantly, I'm really excited for that Wooting 60 V2. That's gonna be great. Even though, again, I'm using this, like, am I gonna notice the speed difference when I upgrade from the 1000 Hertz to the 8K Hertz? Probably not, but why not upgrade? And I'm sure there's gonna be other improvements that they're gonna make as well, not just a shelf swap. So taking a look at Wooting's website, just to look at the build of the 80HE. So obviously 80% is a different layout that we haven't really seen a ton of. Uh, I do like how it's not a 75% because I think the 75% with the uh, arrow keys would be just a little bit too close and uh, claustrophobic, I would say but gas amount, polycarbonate plate, screw and stabilizers. And I think that it sounds pretty good. The LED light bar. And then here are the different versions of the case that you can get. So we have the black plastic that we have here today, the PCR ghost. Why is it not loading? Oh, PCR ghost, frost, zinc alloy in black, zinc alloy in white, which is not showing for some reason. There we are. 
and zinc alloy in raw. Personally, if I was going to buy one of these, I'd probably go for the zinc alloy in white. I just think that looks super clean. Throw some double shot PPT keycaps on there. And on this board, I do have the Lecker 60 switches and uh, I really don't have any complaints with them. The weight feels pretty good. I do like the Lecker 45s that I have on my Wooting 60 HE, but um, if I was to buy this and I had the Lecker 60s, these work perfectly fine. I've had zero issues with them so far. 200 bucks, and that gets you the plastic case, pre-installed double shot PBT keycaps that are backlit. Oh, maybe these are, are these ABS or PBT? They kind of feel like ABS. These actually might be PBT, PB, oh, 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 oh. these actually might be PBT caps. So you might be good there. I guess if you wanted ABS keycaps, you could get them, but, or you can upgrade with the 80 HE module, pick up some Lecker switches, or even upgrade to Gateron Jade switches. And then let's see here. So if we were gonna get the zinc case in white mm -hmm. and the double shot PBT keycaps, we'd be looking at nearly $400. That's kind of a lot, but, but mind you, we are getting into custom keyboard territory and with the look, the feel, the performance and the sound, I think that this could really be your all in one job. Like if you're fine with just plain Jane keycaps, you know, being double shot PBT, 40 bucks is really not a bad price for a nice generic keycap set. But if you wanna upgrade to like a GMK set or like one of the sets from Drop, you're gonna be spending like a hundred plus dollars on just the keycaps alone. So to get everything for let's just say 400 bucks including tax and shipping that's pretty good for this level of performance or you can spend half and just get the plastic case and you'll be good to go as well the last thing i want to mention to you guys about the wooden keyboards that makes them really the best and separates them from the rest is their utility app online so no software that you have to install on your PC. You just go to the Wootility website, initialize your device, and it brings you to this page where you can now start to mess with your settings and your RGB and all that stuff. So typically how I play, I have on the tachyon mode. I do use rapid trigger as well. And then I'm gonna go to my actuation points tab over here. These are the keys that I have, custom actuations and uh, rapid trigger. I have uh, enabled on all of those keys as well. And that's pretty much it. Continuous rapid trigger, basically, when you um, go past your actuation point and then you do another half press, basically it will re-enable that key. So it gives you even faster tapping when you're strafing or you're really trying to do an action in game. Destiny 2 is a really laggy, slow game. And I can tell the difference when I'm playing on a wooting and when I'm playing on something else. So having a Hall Effect keyboard that's super fast and super reliable with a really clean, good signal is definitely a big upside. So one of the pros to switching from controller to keyboard and mouse is having these super fast keyboards. RGB settings you can mess with as well. I typically just leave these on static because I usually use the tachyon mode and that's about all it lets you use. But if you want like any of the crazy RGB effects, um, you will have to disable that tachyon mode. So I don't really care personally. I just use, like I said, the static RGB effects. Light bar indicator, you can change that too if you want it to react when you press keys and by how much you're pressing, you can set that up. I don't really care, but it does look cool. And if you wanna bling out your keyboard, you do have that option. Other than that, it's pretty much all I got. The Wooting 80 HE is quite nice. Really excited for the Wooting 60 V2 to come out later this year as well. I am expecting that to be another premium release from Wooting where we have like another basic model starting around like $180 complete maybe up to $200. And then for obviously a much nicer build, gonna be looking at between like three to $400 for a nicer upgraded complete build with a higher quality case and all that. But I have no worries that that release from Wooting is not gonna be fantastic as well. So stay tuned and uh, hopefully we'll have that one on the channel later on. But I will leave this one linked in the description below for you guys to check out. And if you really can't wait, the Wooting 60 Plus really is not a bad deal at all. Like that's probably what I'm gonna end up switching back to after using the Wooting HE, just because I prefer that 60% form factor and I've already sank a ton of money into it to customize it too, so there's that.
could have swore I just muted that. <laughs> I guess not. 